I look back at this and I think, you know, what was the difference between Cho'oyu and Mount Everest? How could we be successful on a much more dangerous mountain, a bigger mountain, a more difficult mountain, and with very challenging political and, and just, you know, group dynamic situations at base camp? And ultimately it came down to communication. If you want to be successful, whether it's on the mountain or whether it's in business, you need to communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. You can't talk enough. You need to share information with everybody around you. Leadership and teamwork were critical. Not only our leader of the expedition, but how we each individually took responsibility and accountability to lead our culture and to lead our expedition. We were all worked together and how we chose to work together as a team. We had an inspiring vision. We knew who we wanted to be as a team, and therefore we could create it, and we set goals of what we would do in order to live this vision. Managing change was absolutely critical. If you didn't manage change on Mount Everest this year, you were done. Just like in today's environment, if you don't manage change, you're going to have a hard time getting through this next year. Change is the only constant that you can count on. So you need to figure out how you can deal with that both personally and as a team, as an organization. And the last thing is to be personally accountable. I believe that we all reap what we sow. So focusing on what did I do to lead to this situation, I firmly believe that if you have a great successful team, you have created that. And if you have a team that isn't working well together and you're not happy, you have also played a role in that. So looking at your circle of influence and what do you have influence over, how can you create what you want to get? 